Hello and welcome back, goats, to the Big Blue Purple channel, and to this no BS guide on how to unlock everything in the new Vampire Survivors DLC. So, let's not waste any time and immediately jump into the first unlock, which will be the coffin. Just follow where I'm going on screen in this footage from the start. You're going to want to go down and to the right. I got lost uh, on two runs looking for this coffin because I went all the way around to the left, which will lead to like a, a mountain section that you can climb up, but you can't get to the coffin from there. So just go around down and to the right and then you'll come up here. You'll go through these doors and in the middle of this big kind of building that you find, you'll find the coffin. Make sure in your run that you stock up on some items before you come over here because there is going to be enemies that come out from the coffin that you need to kill to claim the coffin. I just didn't grab anything and ran straight here to show up with the location. Alright, so the next unlock we're going to go grab is the Night Sword. The Night Sword, you just need to find it on the map. It's marked for you, and once you find it, it will be unlocked for future runs. Just follow the footage you see on screen and it will take you straight to the Night Sword. The skeleton guy by the Night Sword will drop a chest if you kill him. So now that you've got your Night Sword, to evolve it, you're going to need the Stone Mask. Now, what differentiates these DLC weapons from the base game weapons is that you actually need to max out whatever the upgrade material is before the weapon will evolve. So if you need Stone Mask for Night Sword, you're going to need five Stone Masks to evolve the Night Sword. This applies to every single DLC weapon. Next, to unlock the Silver Wind, you'll need to survive 15 minutes with Myong Moonspell. This is the character from the coffin. To evolve Silverwind, you will need Pomerola, and again, you will need Max Pomerola and Max Silverwind to get the evolution. You want to evolve the Silverwind because it is necessary to unlock the next character, Menya. Now just survive 15 minutes with this new character to unlock his ability, the Four Seasons. Four Seasons actually requires two upgrade materials, being Candle Labrador and Spinach. Both of these need to be maxed out as well as Four Seasons for the evolution. You'll want to evolve four seasons so you can unlock the next character, Siuto. Once again, survive for 15 minutes and you will unlock the next weapon, Summon Knight. To evolve Summon Knight, you will just need Duplicator. This is one of the easier ones to upgrade because Duplicator caps out at level 2. And if you hadn't guessed it already, you want to evolve this weapon so you can unlock the next character, Babiona. Once again, just survive for 15 minutes with her and you will unlock her weapon, the Mirage Rogue. To evolve the robe, you will just need Attract Orb, once again, maxed out Attract Orb. You want to evolve the Mirage Robe so you can unlock the next character, McCoy Oni. Survive 15 minutes with this new character and you will unlock the 108 Bachi. This is the only weapon from the DLC that does not have an evolution. Now, I held off until now to talk about these three upgrades because I feel like doing them together um, makes a lot more sense than doing them separately. So the final three challenges are to defeat 6,000 Kappa, defeat 100,000 enemies in a single run with Menya Moonspell, and defeat 100,000 enemies in a single run with Siuto Moonspell. So my recommendation for this is to go to the spot where I'm at on the map on screen, kind of by the gold ring there. That spot is near where all the Kappa spawn. The Kappa only actually spawn near little bodies of water on the map. So if you want to kill 6,000 Kappa, you're going to need to camp next to one of these bodies of water to keep them spawning. It's very unlikely you kill 6,000 Kappa in a single run, so this will probably take a couple of runs. Hence why I recommend getting the 100,000 kills on both characters in that exact spot. Now, it's essential you play on Endless Mode here, because in my experience, without Endless Mode, it's nearly impossible to get 100,000 kills on this stage. Each 100,000 kills took me about 20 minutes on hurry mode, which is the equivalent of 40 minutes of the in-game time. And within the run, I finished about half of my Kappa kills. So it's safe to say that if you do both of your 100,000 kill challenges over by where the Kappa spawn, you'll have no problem getting these 6,000 Kappa kills, and that will be everything unlocked. And then finally, you just need to evolve the weapon that Kappa has, the little bubbles. For this, you need the Spellbinder, and again, you need a max out Spellbinder and you'll get the evolution. Anyways, that's everything we know about in the DLC so far, all of the unlocks we are certain of. No secrets are confirmed, none are in the secret menu, so we don't actually know if there's any secrets, but I think it's safe to say there's probably a secret or two hidden in here somewhere. Anyways, I hope this guide was quick and to the point on how to unlock everything in the new Vampire Survivors DLC. 
If you liked the video, drop a like, consider subscribing to the channel. We are on our way to 1,000 subscribers, hoping to hit that by the end of the year. Now get out there and 100% Vampire Survivors again.